Jesus, offspring of Reuben Jesse, Jesus, Lily of the Valley, Jesus, Line of the Tribe of Judah, Jesus, the Good Shepherd, Jesus, the True Vine, Jesus, the Prince of Peace, Jesus, our Redeemer, our Restorer, our Sanctifier, our Purifier, our Savior, Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, come on, saints, God, open up your mouth and say, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, call on his name. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, make me hot his name. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, call on him. Holy yes. Hey. 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 Oh, <laughs> 
Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
you got to get to a point, it's time for me to build up. Yeah. It's time for me to build up what was torn down. Oh yeah. my God. Oh. It's time for me to repair. Yeah. You got the nobles, the nobles see them building. These was the leaders. These was the ones that had some rank. Yeah. They see them building up, but they did not put their shoulders to work. Yeah. They did not join in. Can I tell you that everybody ain't going to join in? Oh, everybody yeah. ain't going to give you no pat oh, on yeah. the back. Oh, yeah. Everybody ain't encourage you. Oh, yeah. They're not going to come and help you. Oh, yeah. You can be going through. It can be in your ministry. It family. can be in your marriage. Family. It can be in your family. They can see it being torn down and they will look at you like you crazy but they will not help you. They will talk about you oh, yeah. but they won't help you. Oh, yeah. oh my God. So you got to get over your nobles. You got to get over the ones that don't support you. Oh, yeah. The family that oh, yeah. don't support you. Oh, yeah. Look to God. Oh yes. Oh yes. You got to look to God for everything. Oh yes. See, I look to God for everything. God. I don't care how that situation looks, oh, yes. how bad it looks. I look to God because I know that He's the only one that can get me out of this situation. Oh, yes. That can give me the strength to come through. Oh, yes. He is the only one that can bring me through it oh, yes. without smelling like smoke. Oh, yes. I know it looked like we was in the fire. Yes, Lord. One man. Oh, yes, one man. One man. One man. Came with a vision. With a vision. One woman. Oh, yes. Came with a vision. Came with a vision. See, you got to get a vision from God. Oh, yes. You got to hear God. Yes. God, what are you saying to God? God going to direct you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. God would order your steps. Oh, my God. God will give you a vision. And he will give you provision. See, God gave Nehemiah the vision. Not only that, oh, yeah. he gave him provision. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to have faith to know. Oh, yes. Whatever God has for me, I can have it. It is for me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See, God oh, yes. know how to connect you with the right people. Oh, yes. See, sometimes you got to check who you connected to so you can see if you connected to the right people. Oh my God. See, when they saw Nehemiah, one man came with a vision that he was bold. He didn't care who came up against him. Oh, see, yes. God will give you a boldness. Oh, yes. And they'll, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. they'll look at you crazy. Oh, yes. They'll say, well, they're arrogant. They're prideful. No, 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 baby. Yes, God has given me a boldness. Oh, yes. He has removed fear. I trust, and I trust, trust God. God.
long, God. Things will start coming up. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said this problem came up, but guess what? God gonna give you the strength. He gonna give you the healing power to get through that thing. Oh my God, he gonna correct it. Yes, sir. Marriage is family. Yes. Oh yes. See, God know how oh, yes. to correct a thing. Oh my God. Oh yes. When you begin to build, you make it repairs. God know how to make repairs to your marriage, yes. to your ministry, oh, yes. to your family. Oh, yes. You can't give up on your family. No. You can't give up on your ministry. Oh, yes. You can't give up on your marriage. You got to be able to stand through it and say, you know what? We in this thing together. Oh, yes. We better fasten up together. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Personally, yes, Lord. Woo. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, yes. See, when you get this, this, when you start working on you, your self-esteem, you get to building up your self-esteem. Oh yes, come on now. Where you was tore down at, where, where you may allow that man or allow that woman or allow people to tear your self-esteem down. Oh my oh, yes. God. Oh my God. See, it's time for you to repair her. Oh my God. Remember, they went through the sheep gate first. And when they went through the sheep gate, this is where the shepherds went through. And they began to make sacrifice. Oh, yes. oh my God. But Jesus Christ was the Lamb of God that took all our sins away. Oh, yes. oh my God. That sacrificed his life for us. Oh, yes. oh my God. And that's the reason why it needs to be built back up. Oh, yes. We got to lift Jesus up. Oh, yes. We got to lift the cross up. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yes. oh, yes. For he made a great sacrifice oh, yes. on our behalf. Oh, yes. oh my God. The spirit. Yes, Lord. You got to build it back up in the spirit. Oh, yes. The church got to be lifted back up. Oh, oh my God. We let the pandemic put the church under. But it's time for the church oh, to yes. raise up. Oh, yes. Jesus up. We got to lift the cross up. Oh, yes. People got to hear about Jesus. Oh, yes. They can't hear all the time about our problems. Oh, but we got to tell them oh, about yes. the problem solver. Oh, yes. The way maker. Oh, yes. The healer. Oh, yes. The provider. Oh, yes. The Lamb of God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. They went to the sheep gate first. Yes. And then they said, you know what? The fish gate. Uh -huh. The fish gate was where the fishermen of Galilee, they would go, oh my God, and they would sell their fish oh yes. or what they caught. Oh God, oh yes. God. Oh yes. See your business, see business have been shut down <laughs> hey, we're during this pandemic. Oh, now. now it's time for you yeah. to rebuild your business oh, back yes. again. Oh yes. Oh God. Oh yes. Oh God. Yes, Lord. Jesus said on, that he was gonna make us fishermen of men. Oh yes. Oh my God.
See, we're afraid of our way. We don't want to pick up our Bibles no more. We just want to get on the internet and, 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 and look at it like that. No, you got to get in your word. Oh my God. Your old way. The old way. They didn't stop right there. They went through the valley gate. Y'all got to read this chapter in your own time. They went through the valley gate. You get up. Oh my God. Oh yes. The valley gate was just in the midst of it. Nothing really grow. See, it, it's right in the midst of the other gates, but it's in the midst of, of nothing else. You know that valley experience you have had? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. See, God delivered me in the valley. God delivered me in the valley, in a low place. Oh, yes. See, the valley, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you feel like you're all alone and you're going through some things, I experience God greater. See, everybody just want to jump up and start getting the mic and start preaching and praying and prophesying. But you need a valley experience. Oh, yeah. You need to go and visit the valley so that true deliverance can take place. Oh, yeah. It's going to start in the valley. Oh, yeah. The valley will humble you. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. The valley will humble you. Oh, my God. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. The valley humbled me. Oh, my God. So you can't forget about the valley. Oh, yeah. You can't forget. Then, when they left the valley gate, they said, we got to go through the dung gate. The dung gate was where all the rubbish was taken out through the dung gate. It was where they would burn all the rubbish. Us as people of God, we got to go, oh my God, through the dung gate so that everything in us that's not of God can be burned up out of us. We want to be like God. We want it burned out of us completely so that we can be more like him. So that God can remove all the rubbish. See, you still carrying some stuff from when you was 10 years old, from when you was 16 years old, from when you was 20 years old, from when you was 30 years old. But God got to remove all the rubbish. Okay, oh, yes. but they went, oh, yes. oh my God, oh, yes. through the dawn gate, oh, yes. and the fire, oh my God. Oh, yes. See, you'll start producing once you leave from the dawn gate, oh, yes. oh my God. Now, they went to the fountain gate. The fountain gate was located near the pool, <laughs> oh my God. It was often used by the people for cleaning before proceeding in the temple. They went and took a dip. Oh my God, before they came in the temple, they began to wash before they came in the temple. Oh, yes. oh my God. Oh, yes. oh my God. See, this is that living water oh, yes. that God is talking about. The fountain. Oh, that fountain oh, yes. Oh, yes. of the living water. Oh, yes. God say, the living water oh, yes. was his Holy Spirit flowing in your life. Oh, yes. oh my God. Wash. You cannot miss the fountain gate. Oh, yes. oh my God. Oh, yes. oh, the fountain gate will cleanse, will purify, will empower you. Oh, yes. oh my God. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. They didn't stop at the fountain gate. Oh, yes. You say, well, now they're at the water gate. Okay, they already went through the fountain gate. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. The water gate oh, yes. was close to the king's stable. Oh, God. Of the men of Jerusalem in battle will ride their horses out of the gate to war. To war. Oh, my God. Oh, you yes. can never think that you're not going to go through warfare. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. You can be, see, you got to you gotta hear when everything is removed and you are went through and now you have no valley experience and you want to give up on God. You can't give up on God. And God said, you know what? Now that I removed some things, I'm about to fill you with the Holy Spirit. I'm about to give you my living water. He said, but now you got to go through the water gate. And when you go through the water gate, it's going to be some warfare going on. But guess what? You are going to be empowered for the warfare. You coming out victorious. You got to trust God. You got to believe God. Oh, my God. You got to get ready for battle. When things 
east gate on. located on the opposite side of the Mount Olive. Oh my God. Oh, yes. But that's the gate. Oh my God. Oh, yes. That Jesus is coming back through. Oh, yes. He's coming yes. back on the mountain oh, yes. through the east gate. Oh, yes. Read Zechariah 14 and 4 in your own time. Oh, yes. But he said close the east gate. The east gate. And when you close the east gate, oh, yes. he said I'm coming back oh, yes. through the east gate. The east gate. Oh my God. Yes, you got to trust God. Hallelujah. He said I'm coming through the clouds. Oh, yes. oh my God. Oh, yes. Through the east gate. Through the east gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes. When you go through the east gate. Oh yes. See they was building all these gates. They was building everything back up. Back up. They was building it up. Their houses, the walls, the gates. Oh yes. They was building it all back up. Oh yes. But they didn't leave it right there. Oh yes. They say, you know what? It's the inspection gate. Come on, God. Oh yes. The inspection gate is the military connection. And according to tradition, it was at this gate that David would meet his troops to inspect them. Oh, yes. oh God, this speaks to us about examination that we got to get before God and allow God to examine us. Oh, my God, we just got to say, God, cleanse me. Examine my heart. Everything that's not like you, God, I need you to remove it, God. Wash me all over again, God. Inspect me, God. Inspect me in your presence. In the name of Jesus, I want to be more like you. I want to be more like you. Oh, God, burn up everything out of me, God. That's not of you. I need you to burn it up out of me, God. Make me cleanse. Purify me, God. Make me holy. Purify me, God. It's going to happen by faith. It's going to happen. By faith. By faith. Your faith. Oh, yes. Having confidence in God. Yes. Believing God's word. Yes. Trusting yes. God's word. Yes. Knowing, being persuaded by God's word. Yes. Knowing that you got a guaranteed warranty yes. of what God said. Oh, yes. oh my God. Yes. You got to hold on yes. and you got to do it by faith. by faith. You got to build it up by faith. Oh, yes. You got to build your family up by faith. Yes. Build your ministry up by faith. You gotta build your business up by faith. Whatever it takes, it gotta be done by faith. You can't forget that you know what? I gotta, I gotta get away so that I can get before God and I can allow God to examine me. Some of us know there's some stuff there that don't need to be there. Amen. And some Amen. stuff we just look over. And some stuff we really don't know what's stopping us and what's blocking us. But when you get before God and you get in his word, see, you got to stop putting the mirror on everybody else. Put the mirror on you. God, this is me. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. I need a washing. I need a cleansing, God. When they say they hung the doors, they hung the, the, the gates and the walls. And say everything they did, but they began to repair it. Nehemiah began to consecrate it. That means to be set apart. And a lot of us that's in church that say that we are holy, we are not set apart. I don't see holiness. Oh my God, we're running around like the world. Oh my God. We say we're holy. Hey, come on, But when you say you're holy, you're saying that you're set apart. I'm different than the world. That means I don't dress like the world. I don't talk like the world. I don't go where the world go. I'm not trying to club. I'm not trying to keep it hype so that I can fit in. Amen. He consecrated it. He kept it holy. So you got to keep it holy. He purified it. Oh my God. He purified it. See, you got to keep it holy. We got to get back to the old way. Well, we didn't care what time it was, but we wanted to worship our God. We wanted to lift him up. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You got churches closed down, afraid of the pandemic. 
pandemic, I don't know what God told them. Oh my God. But I do know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But God told us to lift him up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God. Why have the church closed their mouth? Why? We can't step out on faith and say, God, I'm going to trust you. When I go and put the key in the door at the church, God, I'm going to trust you. Oh, my God. When I'm going, praying for my family's salvation, God, I'm going to trust you. No matter how it look and how far they look like they're from you, God, I'm going to trust you for their salvation. It's going to be done by faith. Yes. Not by doubt. Yes. Not by doubt. But by faith. Yes. By faith. Yes. You can rebuild it back up. Yes. By faith. Everything that was torn down, you can build it back up. Don't let nobody tell you God said it. God said you can build it yes. back up. Yes. By, by faith. faith. Oh yes, thank you Jesus. Come on, give the glory and thank you God. Come on, stand on your foot around the building. Magnify your God.